Hello friends, this is Monday of Holy Week. Did you notice that up until today, I've been saying Monday the first week, the second week, the third week, the fourth week, and last week I even said Monday the fifth week. But this, we don't call it Monday the sixth week of Lent, even though it is. We say Monday of Holy Week because this is that final week before Jesus' death on a cross and resurrection, totally signifying to the devil, ha ha, I beat you. But we gotta get through this hard part first, don't we? Mm-hmm. We can do this though, and we can do it together, for sure. The title for today's devotion is V is for vexed. Hmm, I wonder who's mad. Vexed is another way of saying mad. I wonder who's mad in us, I wonder who's angry. Let's find out. We're going to open our Bibles to Matthew 21, and we're going to read verses 12 and 13. Now, for some of you, this might be a whole new concept, so definitely grab your Bibles and look it up for yourselves, okay? And parents, if you want to grab your family Bibles, definitely do that, because this is going to be kind of new, I think, for some of us, and how cool that we would get to learn this together for the first time. So go ahead, press pause, look it up on your end, and come on back when you're ready to press play, okay? wait patiently. Okay, Matthew 21 verses 12 and 13 says this, and Jesus entered the temple and drove out all who sold and bought in the temple. And he turned over the tables of the money changers and the seats of those who sold pigeons. And he said to them, it is written, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of robbers. Oh my, so who was vexed? Jesus was vexed. And why was he vexed? Why was he angry? Because it would be like somebody going into our church, into our chapel, and making a business there, and, and selling things, and not just selling things, but selling things for unfair prices. That would make God very angry for sure. Okay, so you know what? Sometimes when I know that my mom or dad is angry, sometimes when I know my husband is angry about something, I pray about it. So let's do that right now. Jesus is angry in this part of the story that we just read. So we definitely want to pray and maybe our prayer will tell us a little bit more, okay? Fold your hands, close your eyes, bow your heads, Think about Jesus as I pray for us. Lord Jesus, we now know that vexed means angry. And look how very vexed you are. You are on a rampage, flipping over tables and driving out people from the temple. You called those people robbers, Lord. They were littering up your father's house with their greed. You had to clean things up and you did a great job. Hmm. You know, when we really think about it, the entire reason you came to live with us is to clean things up. You came to clean up all sin, death, and the power of the devil, and you did a great, perfect job. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Isn't that wonderful how our prayer tied this all together? Jesus cleaned up the temple and Jesus cleans us up too. Mm, I love that. You know what else I love? I love you. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye friends.